G'day folks, it's Cortez Arino, and today I'm going to show you how to build this Japanese farmhouse. And I'm sure you immediately noticed what is so unique about this house. That of course is the roof. Using mangrove roots and campfires, I think I've come up with a really unique way to do a thatched roof. So this will definitely set this build apart from the other builds you have in your Japanese town. If you just put this one out in the fields, it's obviously a much more rustic farmhouse. And because it's the house of a peasant family, it is very small, so it'll be a nice quick build for you. Although it does look really nice on the inside, we've got this traditional Japanese fireplace. No chimney, they just used high roofs to dissipate the smoke and the smoke would also keep the bugs out of the roof, out of the wood. So we've just got a nice little dining area, little bedroom, somewhere to do some cooking. Yeah, that is about it, but it does look super cool. And this is how the build looks without shaders. And like always, you can find a full materials list in the video description. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is just using dirt, we're going to mark out the area where our building's going to go. So you can begin by building a dirt rectangle that is 23 blocks by 15. And right in the middle of that, we're going to build another rectangle. This one is 15 blocks by 9. And you're going to build it mostly out of stone, but also throw in the occasional andesite and cobblestone. And just make sure you get that rectangle right in the middle of this one, so you'll have a three block gap right there, and a two block gap on that side. Now this building doesn't really have a front, so you can face it in whatever direction you like, and you can enter from each of the shorter sides. But what we're going to do is come over to one of the longer sides and in this corner I'm going to place a composter. Then we'll go up here, we'll place an andesite slab in that corner. We'll do another one up here and then a cobblestone slab in that corner. Now in the rest of this area in between our two rectangles we're going to fill all of this up with our stone. Once again mixing in the occasional cobblestone and the occasional andesite. So when you're done, you should be looking something like this. And then what you can do is we don't need this dirt anymore, so you can go ahead and get rid of it. And once you've knocked out that dirt, we're going to replace it with a mixture of different blocks. So rather than me just explain to you the different blocks we're using, I might just do a little swing around the building. And if you want to, you can copy exactly the blocks I've done there. So it's mostly slabs and the occasional stair, but we do throw in some bushes and some grass. So you can just go around and place in those blocks as I've done, or you can just do it randomly. Okay, even though this building doesn't have a front, for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm going to call this side the front where the composter is on the left. So what I want you to do is, looking from the front here, grab some stripped oak logs, and we're going to skip three blocks, and on the fourth we're just going to run a line of our stripped oak. And we'll do the same from this side, so skip one, two, three. On the fourth block we'll run our oak. Then grab some cobblestone, come up to the back here, we'll dig out those three blocks. Place in cobblestone, and we're just going to surround this with stairs. Like so, but when you do it, mix in a whole bunch of andesite and cobblestone stairs as well. So you should be looking at something like that. And then what we're going to do is fill up the rest of this floor with our stripped oak logs. And we're just going to run them in the opposite direction from the first two that we placed. And then you can grab some oak planks and we're just going to randomly mix these in for a bit of extra detail. Okay, once you've done that, come along to where we've got these logs running in the opposite direction from all the others. On the ends of these, just on top of the stone, we're going to place stripped spruce logs. And then come along to the shorter sides here, we'll place one in the corner, one right in the middle, and one in that corner. And we'll do the exact same thing up this end. And now we're going to build them all up until they're six blocks tall. So we've got one already, that's two, three, four, five, six. So just go ahead, do that for each of these. Okay, come along to one of your shorter sides, and what I built here, I want you to copy the same thing to the other side. So we'll start with three snow blocks 
And then another three, if you don't like snow blocks, go ahead and use white concrete instead. Then we're going to place five snow blocks there, then three, and then a single, and then grab jungle planks, and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So go ahead, build that on the other side. And staying with your jungle planks, come along to one of the longer walls, and we're just going to run our planks all the way along there, and we'll do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Okay, grab a stripped spruce log, and starting against the top of this log, we'll do one log, then a sea lantern, then three logs, a sea lantern, and another log, and we'll do the same thing over here. Now, I'm using sea lanterns, but you're not going to see them, so you can use jack-o'-lanterns or glowstone. You can use whatever you like. Then look over to here. We're going to start at the top of that log, and we're just going to run this all the way along until we connect on the other side. And then just next to our snow blocks here, we're going to go log, sea lantern, log, and log, sea lantern, and log. And we'll do the exact same thing up this end. And then we're just going to cover up our sea lanterns with spruce trapdoors. So we're going to place the trapdoor on the top. And then we're also going to place it on the side. Don't worry about placing one on the bottom. We'll be covering up the bottoms of those sea lanterns later, but just make sure you've got all the sides of them covered up. So then grab stripped spruce logs. And in this little intersection, we're going to place three right there. And we'll do the same thing right there. Now grab your jungle planks and everywhere where you can see a jungle plank here, so there's seven of them in total, we're just going to build out from these and build them all the way along until we connect on the other side. So when you're done, you should be looking like this. And now we're going to grab some snow blocks, come along to one of the shorter sides here, and we're just going to add an extra two snow blocks underneath the ones we have above. And then grab some oak buttons. We'll place one on the log there and one on each side. And then just in between these, we're going to fill them up with spruce signs. And you can go ahead and do the exact same thing on the opposite side. And once you've got those in, we're going to come along to the longer walls. And this is exactly the same. So just underneath our jungle planks there, we're just adding an extra two snow blocks. And then on the logs, we're going to place our oak buttons. And in between those, we are going to place our spruce signs. So go ahead, do that on both sides. Okay, now I want you to come along to one of the longer walls. And what I build on this side, copy the exact same thing to the opposite side. So against this log on the end, we're going to do a spruce fence and a lantern. And we'll do the same thing up this end. And against the logs in the middle, we're going to put a spruce trapdoor on the bottom of them. Then come to the inside of the build. Looking out, we're going to place two barrels lying on their sides. Then you can come back to this side. Hold shift. We'll place an upside down stair there. And then two more beside it. And then above our barrels, we'll do two spruce planks. Then three birch trapdoors, and you can flick them down, and another three right here, and flick them up. So build that on the other side. Okay, we're going to keep working on these walls, but these sections will be different on the two sides of the building. So we're going to begin on the side where our fireplace is. So in this gap, we're just going to fill it up with nine dried kelp blocks. So we'll do the exact same thing over here. And then we'll come around to the opposite side. And what we're going to do here is much like what we did right there. So from the inside looking out, we're going to place in two barrels. And then holding shift, we're going to place an upside down spruce stair. Then on each side above our barrels, we'll do two dried kelp blocks. And then we'll place in our birch trapdoors. So we've built one. Go ahead, build the exact same thing over here. Okay, now we'll come around to the short walls and do our entrances. And this will be the exact same on each side. So in the left hand section here, we're going to put three upside down spruce stairs, two oak trapdoors there, and two right here, and just flick them up and down. And then come to the inside, and on top of that stone block, we'll place an oak door. That's how your doorway looks. And in the section on the right, we'll do two spruce planks with an upside down spruce stair, 
two dried kelp blocks and then we'll fill in the center with birch trapdoors. So that's how it's going to look on the other side as well. So over here the doors on the left and when you come to over here we'll again be building the door on the left. Okay once you've built that on each side I want you to look at our oak buttons. Just above each of these we're going to place an upside down spruce stair. So just go ahead and build this all the way around the building. And once you've done that I want you to grab some spruce slabs and at that height right there we'll place it in the corner. And then we'll just continue to run these all the way around. Now grab some spruce fences and on the longer walls we're just going to place them next to our trapdoor. So just in front like that. And then on the shorter walls we're going to look at these lanterns here. We're going to skip two blocks and then place our fence post. We'll do the same thing over here. And just continue to do that all the way around. So on the longer walls in front of the trapdoors. And on the shorter walls on the third block out from our lantern. And once you've got all of those in, we're going to build them up till they are five blocks tall. So we've got one, that's two, three, four, five. So go ahead, do that for all of these. And once you've done that, come along to one of your shorter walls. And what I build on this side, copy the exact same thing to the other side. So against the top of this log right in the middle, we'll do an upside down spruce stair. And against the logs on each end we'll do spruce planks and then we're going to run spruce slabs in between them. And then starting against this stair we'll do a spruce trapdoor and then three on this side and three on this side and then a spruce slab on top of the fences in each corner. And uh, I've already gone ahead and done it on this side as well. So now we're going to start with mangrove roots against the plank. You can start with one there. Then we'll come one out toward the front and then just run them all the way along and do the same right here. Then we'll skip around to this side of the slab and we'll just do a straight line of our mangrove roots all the way down. Finishing at the slab, one against the plank, against the slab, turn the corner and we're doing the same thing right here. And you should finish all the way back where you started. Okay, staying with our mangrove roots, come along to one of our shorter walls and we're going to place one on top of that log and then an extra one, two, three. And we'll do the same thing here. One, two, three, four in a line like so. And then we're just going to place an extra one poking out away from the building. And we'll do the same thing up this end. So on top of the log and then three more on top of the log and one, two, three more with the extra one poking out. And then what we're going to do on the longer walls is we are just going to run these all the way along. So when you're done, you should be looking like this. Now we'll come up to the top and starting on top of that jungle plank, we're going to do a line of three and then we'll just do that two more times. So we've got nine in total. Then we'll do a single and another nine a single in the middle and then nine and we'll do that one more time so a single and nine like so. Okay now we're going to come back along to our shorter walls and what I built here copy the same thing to the other side so we'll start with an oak trapdoor against that top jungle plank with an upside down spruce stair above it and then we're going to continue to place upside down stairs against each plank just like so. Then grab it polished deep slate walls will place three and then deep slate brick walls in between those and then two blackstone buttons. Then grab spruce trapdoors will place one on top of that mangrove and another one right there and then looking from the side and you'll have to hold shift here we're going to place seven campfires in between those trapdoors and you can grab a shovel and put them all out. So that's how you should look when you're done. Go ahead, build that on the other side. Okay, now we're going to come up to the top here and with spruce stairs, we're going to place one right way up just next to that stair on the end. And then in each of these little gaps, we're going to place a stair and then finish with one on the end. And then we're going to place a spruce slab on top of each of those stairs. So once you've done it on that side, do the exact same thing over here. And once you've got those in looking in the same direction I am now, 
We're going to start with a campfire on top of that upside down stair. And we're just going to run these all the way along and finish on that stair. And then go ahead with your shovel and put them all out. So that's how you should be looking when you're done. So now we're going to do another line of campfires. But we're going to face them in a different direction. So now we're going to look in this direction. And starting right here, we're going to place a line of them all the way along. And once you've done that, put them out with your shovel. So that's how you should be looking when you're done. And we're not going to place them on top of the next mangrove roots. We're going to skip those. But we're going to place them along here. So go ahead, do the same thing. So when you're done, you should be looking like that. And go ahead and do the exact same thing on this side. And we're not quite done yet. We've got a few more lines of campfires to go and they are all going to begin and end next to these slabs in the corners. So what I want you to do is look from the side here, place one against that slab and then we're going to place them against the campfires and finish at the slab. And you can go ahead, put them out. So that's where they go on the shorter sides. On the longer sides, we'll be placing them against the slab and running these all the way down until we finish next to the slab in the corner. And once again, of course, go ahead and put them out and run this all the way around the building so we're not putting anything right in that corner there. And that's our super cool thatched roof 100% done. So now we're just going to throw a few decorations around the outside of the building and we might start on this longer wall, the one where we've got the windows on the sides there. So right here we're going to place a barrel facing straight up and then one next to it on its side and we'll put two sea pickles on that. And then we'll swing around to the right, grab some podzole in front of this window, we'll place three right there. Then place jungle trapdoors against the top half of the block and flick them down. And we'll do two ferns and a flowering azalea. And then we'll keep going around to the right. And in the center of this wall here we'll do a composter with a grindstone beside it. And we'll turn to the right again. And right here we'll do an anvil. And that's the exterior all done. Now it's time to do the interior. Okay, the first thing we're going to do on the inside is look at one of the shorter walls and right here we'll do an upside down spruce stair with a spruce trapdoor below it and a spruce trapdoor just in front. And we'll do the exact same thing up this end, so stair and two trapdoors. And then it's time to cover up our sea lanterns. So where we've got this sea lantern here, we'll do a stair, trapdoor below it and a trapdoor against the sea lantern. And just do that for all four of these. And once you've done all of these, you can turn around and do the exact same thing right here. So when you're done, you should be looking like this. Now we're going to put in our big cook pot above our campfire here. So first of all, looking at these windows on the sides, just look right up above that. And against the jungle plank, we're going to place a spruce fence. And above these windows here, we'll do another one there. And underneath these, we're going to hang two chains. And then just opposite those against this log, we're going to place two more matching ones like so. And then you can place spruce fences underneath each of those chains. And we'll connect the spruce fences with spruce fence gates. So four of them. Just like so. Now hold shift, look at that fence gate and we'll place a spruce fence against it. We'll hang two chains from that. And then right in the middle of our campfire, looking from this direction, we'll place it right there. And then just on top of that, a cauldron. And then looking the other direction, I'm going to place two more campfires there. You can leave them all burning if you want. I'm going to put the two on the side out. And just behind our fireplace, I'm going to cover up the ends of those barrels with two spruce trapdoors. Then we'll do another campfire there and you can put it out so that's a bit of spare firewood for our fire. Beside that, two beehives, a brewing stand, then we'll do a flower pot, a dead bush and a flowering azalea leaf and a cauldron right there. And then we're going to turn to the right and just below this window next to that barrel we'll do a chest right there. 
And just next to this barrel, we'll put two dark oak slabs, then two polished blackstone slabs and two more dark oak slabs. We're going to do a spruce trapdoor on each side next to the blackstone. And then just behind them, we'll put two oak trapdoors and flick them up. So we've got a nice little table. Now you've already got enough light in this room, but if you want more, you can hide sea lanterns underneath those trapdoors. So now we're going to turn to the right again and just over here, holding shift against that barrel, we'll place a stripped spruce log and against the end of that, a stripped spruce wood. So that's the one with the bark texture on the all sides. Then we'll put a chest next to that. And then just in front here, we'll put two light gray beds with two spruce slabs. And just around this chest, we're going to place one, two, three, four brown carpet. Once again, that's a really good spot to hide some lighting if you want to. And then we will turn to the right over here. I'm going to put a right way up barrel, one lying on its side. And then on top of this one, I'm going to put one, two, three candles. So you won't be able to place them on the barrel, even holding shift. It won't let you place them over and over. You got to place them on the wall just behind the barrel. And that's it, guys. That is your build 100% complete. So that's it, guys. That's my Japanese farmhouse. And you know, using this idea for the thatched roof, you can probably come up with lots and lots of different designs for little houses like this. Make a whole little farming community. But anyway, guys, that's it from me. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.